station Hit the call, the escalation This is your radio salvation Go, 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 go Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Twin Brothers from Different Brothers. Come to you live from the Go Live Vegas studios in the heart of Las Vegas, Nevada. It's got to be pretty scary for people to tune in and see two white Jewish guys trying to dance. Would you not agree that that's a pretty scary sight? I don't, you know what? Chair dance, no less. I am not calling that dancing. <laughs> We're off to a good start here at Twin Brothers from Different Mothers. We appreciate you making us part of your day today. The Saturday, this is the pre-Thanksgiving edition. Of twin brothers. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Um, We were supposed we're supposed to go to my dad and Jerry's house, his his significant other. Yeah. But apparently, uh, uh, quite a few of Jerry's family from Cali's coming out. Oh boy, I wouldn't go. And my Eileen, you know, she's a little. So if that does happen, we may just do a little something small at our place. I'm going to Cliffy's house again this year. We go every year. I must have missed my invitation. I didn't get that invitation. I got to get on the mailing list. I'll put you in the mailing list. All right. All right. Took me two years to get to that luncheon on Thursdays. Well, it's a great luncheon. <laughs> Unfortunately, I work now. On the, when is how about December? When's it December? Are you guys going to do it? The first Tuesday, I think. Isn't it the first Tuesday of every I month? I thought it was Thursdays. First Thursday. There we go. <laughs> Listen, I don't even know what freaking Holy month crap. it is or year anymore. It's almost I'm, December. I'm done. I'm done. Well, I'm, hey, Barbara Brighton's in the chat room. Thank you so much. Um, give back the money. Go ahead, ba- what? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Uh, until, so it's a Tuesday, right? Or Thursday. Thursday. No, see, you got me confused well, now. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, the school district doesn't take its winter break to the 18th of December. So I may not be able to get back to a lunch until school's out in June. Well, aren't they going to stop from like Thanksgiving all the way through the no, end no, of no, the no. year? No, 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 no. We cope. They, the school is closed Wednesday through next Sunday next week for yeah. the Thanksgiving. We yeah. go back on that Monday. That's crazy. Shouldn't then, go back. Then, well, we're not going back. It's all online. Yeah, but it still shouldn't go back. Why? I don't know. I have no other reason. Because, <laughs> just because they shouldn't? Cancel the year. 2020 gun. You know, I, I agree with that. Uh, so then we go until December 18th, which is the start of winter break. And do then they we, do a draft in school? Like a draft, like no. the NBA? They don't, no. You don't draft kids? No. They just show up? Or? They just, well, they're supposed to show up. Yeah, but they don't. How many? Let me ask you a question as a, as a teacher in the system. Um, how many kids do they have no clue where they are? Probably more than we think. Now, keep in mind, when you say teacher, I'm not teaching in a traditional classroom. I am a certified teaching tutor. I'm the guy that would pull you your You a student. hologram? What the hell? Kai, I am now. I'm online. They don't know me from person, from, right. from reality. But I'm the one that when school is in its traditional format, I go pull kids out of their class for like 30 minutes for extra practice and okay. reading and math. Yeah. So, I listen, I know the attendance in the groups that I have that I would say out of, let's say, 30 students in total that I have, I would say throughout a week's time, I'm probably seeing only about two thirds of them, because there's no, it's it's. Well, what about now? I mean, there's no internet in a lot of places. A lot of kids don't have the, uh, you know, the Chromebooks. Yep. Um, you know, they the single parent households, zero parent households. Yep. They're living in cars. They're living wherever. I mean, there's still kids that should be in the system. 
How do you, uh, well, what do you do? The school district has created mobile hotspots. Like they've taken school Like mobile school homes? Bus, yeah, in a way. They've taken buses, school buses, yep. that are not in service. Great idea. And, they, and with Cox Cable, who's supplying all the Wi-Fi stuff, they, they've retrofitted some buses around town that based on where they're strategically placed, families who don't have internet access. That's a great idea. Can, it's like a hotspot, basically. Yeah, that's is what a great idea. So they're doing that. Chromebooks, no questions. As they're feeding fact, them breakfast and lunch and stuff? Schools are still, lunch, no. But schools are still making available breakfast meals. Families can drive up. They're outside. As a matter of fact, the school I work with, Neal Elementary School, which is a STEM academy that focuses on science. They counting votes when they walk in? Or? Yeah, they haven't. That's the only way they can get it. Oh, okay. So, uh, but they still offer the breakfast uh, as they drive through. So. Uh, yes. Anyway, all right. We, we have a, really a lot to talk about. We have a great lineup of guests. Uh, our featured guest after our first break, Geechee Guy, great comedian, uh, is in studio, will be joining us in the Probably hot seat. Probably the best known, not known, if I can put I those two terms. I just love the nickname. I want to know what, name. I, you know what, I looked up the word Geechee in the dictionary and it said tilt. I don't know what that means. Kilt or tilt? Tilt. tilt. Like a pinball machine when you tilt it. Because it like it didn't have a definition. We'll have to ask him how he came up with the name. That's a good idea. Uh, now uh, our other guests are 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 furiously waiting on video. They've been with us in the past, and we're happy to have them joining us again. Uh, Ned Mills, Sally Olson. They are known as well as the Carpenters Tribute Concert folks, and they have a show coming up in a couple of weeks. Big that show. Big, big show. A yep. really big shoe. They will be joining us right now as I hear them getting in front of their microphone. Uh, we want to welcome Sally and Ned back to this show. How are you, folks? How's it going? We'll get Hi, we'll get your there. You go. You're now on picture, everybody. Oh, and we have Lola there. There's too. Lola. Wow, thank you. I, I got. <laughs> listen, I hate to say this, and I hate to give it out of the bag, but Neil really doesn't care about you two. It's all about Lola. It's all about Lola. It's all about Lola. Oh yeah. Just thought I'd share <laughs> that. That's all my, right, that's my niece. That's your niece. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Neil. I'd hate to see the nephew, but anyway, uh, so you guys see, see, they call, they like that one. That's pretty good. That's yeah. called improv, by the way. Thank you, uh, Go ahead. <laughs> Never mind. Oh exactly. my God! You're not kidding. All right, so guys, you have a show coming up November 28th to get us into the holiday spirit. Why don't you yeah. talk about that? Yeah. Why don't you start? Okay. Um, well, uh, so. As everybody knows, we have our Carpenters Tribute Concert Main Show, which is a recreation of the Carpenters' 1976 UK tour. And we are excited to debut our Christmas show called uh, Christmas Portrait. And our Christmas show is based on the Carpenters' two television specials. They did one in 1977 called The Carpenters at Christmas, and then one in 78 called A Christmas Portrait. So it's a combination of, of the two. And, um, we put the show together to give it a, a real kind of um, authentic TV special feel, just nice. like if you were watching it back in 77 or 78. Right With on. vintage TV commercials, too, from the 70s, right? Oh, nice. Oh, excellent. I think yeah. we have a couple of pictures, uh, especially the one that you guys have for the promo of the show. We'll pop that up as well. So what went into the thinking behind this in terms of vintage style? I, I mean, obviously, the Carpenters have been known you know, in that time, but to make the whole thing in that vintage style, what was the idea behind that? Um, well, do you, do you well, 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 the thing is that the Carpenters never actually did a tour of their Christmas classics. They only did it in their two main TV specials from 1977 and 1978. So considering that our main show is based on their live performances, we decided if they were going to do a live version of their Christmas classic, uh, their Christmas TV specials, what would it look like? So we kind of did a hybrid of both of their uh, TV specials, took the best Christmas hits from them, from those two specials, and took the greatest hits from our main show and kind of put it in a blender. And we thought, you know what, let's kick it up another notch because we're big, uh, really big, especially Sally's really big on authenticity. Sure. And so uh, we decided what would it be like if you were in the studio audience watching the TV special? So that's what we base it on. We still, add, in keeping with our uh, standards, we still perform as Richard and Karen, or I more properly Karen and Richard. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ned, 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 let me ask you a question. How long yeah. time-wise is the show? Where is the show going to be? Talk a little bit more about that. It's a 90-minute show. We have a 15-minute intermission. 
Um, like I said, we have um, two main things we're doing now. One, of, of course, is here in Vegas, as you said, on November 28th. And we're also performing in Texas. We sold out the Palace Theater and Grapevine, which is uh, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Excellent. And we have to come back and we're doing three shows December 10th and 11th. And of course, considering the social distancing that's all over the country right now, uh, for your uh, viewers that want to get tickets for this space in Vegas, they better get them fast because there's not there's not going to be that many. They're only um, allowing 48 seats, so it'll be pretty intimate. Might be sold yeah. out by the time we're done with this broadcast. They better act fast. So, but well, if, for people who can't um, be there in person, it's going to be live streamed by Broadway on Demand and Wally Rocks. Oh, that's cool. That that's a great compromise to have that av available. And I love the idea. Is the space limiting the amount of guests because of anticipation of what some announcements may be coming down the pike this week from our governor? No, th that was already decided before that happened. Oh, okay. Um, it's just in keeping with social distancing, and they've been very good about, you know, like their their best practices of, you know, wearing masks and going on stage, keeping social distancing even uh, between us and the tech and the crew. And so there will, it will be respected. So any of your viewers that are concerned about that, there's nothing to worry about that. Yeah, um, we were at, uh, Dorothy and I went to the first show that Mark Chinook, of course, from The Space, had live at The Space. And they do it right. They social distance the tables. You're away from that stage area. So yeah. they know what they're doing. It, it's going to be a very safe environment. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I mean, with the limited amount of people, you guys feed so much off of the crowd. Yeah. And even with 40 people there, you'll at least be able to interact a little bit more than if nobody was there. But I bought it. Listen, I bought it Portnoy caricature cutouts to fill all the empty seats. So we're <laughs> the visual. We're the virtual. Uh, yeah. I have well, I'll tell you, um, they've gone beyond what most people do as far as social distancing. Because Somebody's getting a FaceTime call. Is that yeah, you, Sally? I just turned it on. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry That's about right. that. We're all looking in the studio like, where's yeah, that We're all thinking from? it's one of us in here. <laughs> no, it's somebody in my no, no worries. Real quickly, I, do, I, I know you're going to answer Neil's question, but before I forget, Lisa Mascari posts a question in our chat room. Uh, obviously, the 28th, I don't know if you mentioned the time, and can you repeat again where people can watch where it's being streamed? Um, so Saturday, November 28th, a week from today at 5 p.m. And uh, for live streaming, go to uh, broadwayworld.com um, or wally.rocks. Broadway on demand. What did I say, Broadway World? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Uh -oh. We just had a Broadway Correction. World interview. Sorry. Rewind. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Rewind. Broadway on demand. Or, or well, and maybe we can have you guys post it also uh, on, on your, your website. Uh, it, it'd be uh, Broadway on Demand, or uh, there's another excellent live streaming uh, company called Wally, W A L E, which means we are live entertainment. And they oh. have a great website called Wally Rocks. But it's Wally.rocks, not WallyRocks.com. Yeah. Or you could also, I guess, can they come to our website? Yeah, if you, you go to our website, that'd probably be the easiest thing to do. Yeah, that's Carpenters, there. plural, Carpenters Tribute Concert. Dot com, and uh, like I said, they're they're going beyond what social distancing uh, mandates. The mandate has been fifty percent, uh, from my understanding. The space seats three hundred, but they're going beyond. Rather than one hundred and fifty tickets, they're limiting it to forty eight. So right. it's it's going to be exceeding um, the the um, requirements for social distancing. All right, so let me yeah, let me close out with this because we're up against the clock. If you want to purchase tickets that remain, you can call the box office 702-903-1070 or you can go to thespacelv.com. You can click on their event tab and you'll see the, the Carpenter's Tribute Show pop up to get your tickets for 5 p.m. start. So uh, I think this is great. We've shared it. I've got the promo up. We will certainly post it on the Twin Brothers page for throughout the week as well. Everything, that, Anything we can do to support you and your show and get folks there, we would love to do. Thank you. That's terrific. And we, we, we'd like to close with the 
parting thought that uh, although 2020 has been a very challenging year for everybody, it's been very frustrating. Uh, our show is a great way to escape from all of the madness, you know, and, and bring it, bringing people back to a time of innocence and great music and the legacy of the Carpenters. Right on. As I said in the post, uh, what a great way to get into the holiday spirit this year. Let me, let me tell you, if you've never seen these two perform, you're in for a treat. Absolutely. It, well, it's it's wonderful show. Worst case scenario, I know we'll watch it online, uh, and we look forward to uh, a great time. Thank you guys for making time with us this morning. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Bye, Uncle Neil. Bye, Bye Lola. She Lola, sure, puppy. She really doesn't care. She's biting her own paw right yeah, now. You know, so, I saw that. thanks, guys. Continued success and safety. We'll talk soon. All right. That is uh, uh, Sally Olson and Ned Mills, the Con uh, Carpenter's Tribute Concert, folks. When we come back on the other side, you better buckle up because I have a funny feeling the rest of this show is going to be a doozy on a positive note. Correct. Not that the challenge is thrown out to him because there's no reason he needs to be challenged. Listen, the guy's been on <laughs> national stages. I know. He's, been, he's been on brothers. much bigger shows than twin brothers from different mothers. Anyway, thank you for watching. We appreciate you making us part of your Saturday. When we come back, Geechee guy will be right there in the middle of the hot seat. When we come back, we'll be back in about 60 seconds. Obviously, I need a commercial for, for the, the for mic. Cialis. Going, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back right after this.